Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain a new concept that, uh, a new to me concept uh, for shooting movers or leading a target uh, based on time of flight, not specifically on a known or estimated target speed, but specifically uh, based on the time of flight. So um, uh, I shoot a trimmer three, so that's what I'm going to use to explain this. But basically, if you if you want to think through the concept, um, the you're just concerned how much the target is moving from the time you pull the trigger to the time of the bullet impact. So, what you do is step one. I'll go through uh, just how to do this. Uh, step one: go ahead and find a quarter second, a half second, and a one second. Um, time of flight on your Kestrel or your uh, ballistic device uh, to figure out what ranges. And those are roughly what mine are. So I'm gonna go in here, see if you can see that. And this is on a 6.5 Creed uh, that I've got on an 18 inch uh, barrel shooting um, roughly uh, 140 grain uh, projectiles. So you can see here, uh, 375, 400 is around half, go up to 700-ish will be one second. So these times are so, so hard to um, get within, say, a tenth of a second on your estimation. So it's really not as critical. Um, so there's a couple things I, I failed to mention. One, whenever you're talking about... Um, Say you go in here to your Kestrel and you want to just tell it, um, okay, my deer is trotting along at, I'm just gonna say, um, well, deer walk at two mile an hour. Well, we don't know if that's actually two miles an hour. We don't know if that's 2.3 miles an hour. And also, let's say instead of the deer walking perpendicular to us, what if it's walking at a tangent? of some form of, of direction away from us. Well, if that deer is walking at a, let's say a 45 degree angle, it is not 2.5 mile an hour related to um, left to right or right to left. So that's gonna be directly affected. But this method will allow you to calculate true impact on a mover based on time of flight. So step one, calculate time of flight. Step two, range target and find associated time of flight for that range. Step three, mill the target speed. And then four, calculate the lead, hold that lead and fire. So going over some examples, let's just say um, the example is a 400 yard target. So we know from previous calculations that that is a half, roughly a half second time of flight. So what we're going to go ahead and do is on, uh, on our next step is we're going to mill the target speed. So let's just say it's going along at about this speed. So we'll just estimate how long does it take for one second? One, 1,000. Okay. So three mils, one, two, three in one second. So we know that based on our half second time of flight, we can divide that by two. So do roughly 1.5 mil and 1.5 is, is how far that target is moving given our half second time of flight. So we hold by 1.5 mils and fire, or we can let the, we'll hold, let that target wait until it gets to 1.5 mils and then send it. Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, feel free to leave some comments down if you want um, help working through it, but it's kind of a neat um, exercise to um, think through and run the math.